Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Jay Z back with another Minecraft episode. Today it is episode number 12 in our series, and I have something very, very exciting to share with you. I have finished sorting, uh, maybe the chests. We've got all our items sorted, at least for the most part. So we can stop stressing and look at this. Our little temporary chest up here, completely empty now. Huge! So I'm super excited that that is now finished. Also, I did a couple other things off camera to save some time. I added the drip leaves back in. Or added them, I forgot to add them last time, so those look pretty cool and neat. And then I added that spore. I don't really know what that does, but it looks cool. So I added that back in. And then I made this all dirt and it's now grass. And I also put in uh, some uh, glowstone for lighting. We will need to see, and I'm checking on my kelp farm. It's not done too bad. Things are smoking. Yeah, we got a lot of smoking here. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with the roof or the ceiling for this, as well as the walls. So just kind of have to see what we want to do with that. But for now, it's okay. Um, but the main reason or the main goal for this episode is I want to make a glow squid farm. Um, it's not the most useful thing ever, but you can make like glowing text on signs as well as glowing item frames. So we could replace all those with glowing item frames. Should be pretty neat. Um, so basically what it does is the, I'll go show you where I'm going to build it at, but what a glow, a glow squid farm is. It involves axolotls, so we already have some of those. We'll move some of those down there. Uh, or maybe we'll just breed some. Uh, we'll see. But it's down this way. But you basically use this. Where is my button at? You use this farm as a way to far harvest automatically the uh, glow squid ink sacks. So I went ahead and made a second stop about halfway down. It's got to be below Y30 because that's where Glowswood spawns. So I made a second stop here. Um, and this is at Y12. So we should have no problem getting them to spawn in an open water here. Um, but yeah, so it's a halfway stop down. I also added in power, more powered rails uh, to make it faster going up. And this activator rail to uh, detect when we're coming back up so we don't have to stop here again. So yeah, we'll go ahead and show you how fast it is now coming back up compared to the first. First time we did this. Much, much faster. And then you'll see when we hit this detector rail up here, it'll keep us going. Um, so you can see it's off now and we hit it and it goes on and we are zooming back up towards the top. So yeah, that's my goal. So we'll get started on that now and hopefully it won't take us too long, but it's going to be a pretty, pretty neat little thing to do. So let's get started. All right, so I went ahead and gathered some supplies. So I went back to the lush caves and got some tropical buckets of tropical fish so that we can go ahead and um, mate our axolotls, breed our axolotls, because we need to breed these things so we can have some to put in our glow squid farm. All right, all right, chill, 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 chill. There's enough for everyone. Come with me, over here, over here, over here. There you go. Take that, take that. Baby axolotl. Yay, oh, it's the brown one. Sad boy hour, oh, we got, we get, we get to keep our water buckets? I didn't know that. Uh, Can you breed again? Wait, is there no like time limit on breeding axolotls? Sick. <clears throat> I'll take a pink one and that one there is crap no no don't eat it <laughs> no what a waste dang it well they killed the fish Wait, can I Wait, how does that work I like okay well that was an epic fail well I'll probably have to get more because you need to put several axolotls into the glow squid farm. But we will cross that bridge when we come to it.
Oh, that's cool. Does the spore blossom make all the moss bots it's connected to, like, have that stuff? I don't know. That's cool. All right, let's go grab. Let's go down here. We can get started. I have the hoppers that will need some blocks. Plenty of water now. I forgot you get to keep all the water buckets after you get the clownfish or whatever they are, tropical fish. That makes sense, though, doesn't it? All right. Let's get down here and let's get started building. Oh crap, that didn't sound very pleasing. Let's get started on this little, let me clear out this little area just so we have some room to walk around in here. And let's get started on this farm. Okay, so we need to go 30 blocks in because that's the spawn radius. So uh, let me do that and yeah, so that's one, two. That's going to cause some issues. But good thing we have some blocks to tunnel our way through here. <laughs> okay. All right. That's great. Let's just do this. How about it? How about it, fellers? Uh, okay. Pretend like that's not even there. Just, just pretend with me. Pretend. Crap. Just pretend you see nothing. There's nothing behind these walls. I'm gonna have to go back and recount all this because I already don't know how much there was. <laughs> Alright, let's recount. Recount. You gotta recount. Okay, so 28. We need 30 blocks. One, two, three. three. That's 30 blocks. So that should be good. Um, yeah. All right. So I think I've finished the, like getting this part dug out. So what I need to do now is make this one big giant square. So I'm going to work on doing that. It's going to be 17 by 17 by seven. So I'm going to do this and we will return. So we've done a good portion, like, holy junk. I have zombies all around me. I gotta figure out where they're at. But this is taking a toll on my pickaxe, huh? I need to go back and repair this. I'm also gonna get me a shovel because we got a lot of dirt, a lot of dirt to clear out. Um, and then we'll be we'll be back to finish the rest of this. Alright, let's finish the rest of this out. We've got our diamond pickaxe back to its former glory. Uh, we'll get the rest of this cleared out. Use our our, uh, our shovel on that dirt over there, and then we'll get this thing built.
Oh my goodness, that was not fun. All right, we need to build a infinite water source. Because we're about to use a lot of water. So we need to fill in, if I'm not mistaken, we need to fill in each or two full walls and that'll create a full water block. All right, so let's get this started. Yeah, nice. So we can go ahead and fill this bottom layer in. We got an infinite full little thing of 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 water now. Okay, so the next step is to do this floor three more times. So it'll be four blocks of water high. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. Alright, so that was freaking fun. So now we need to make a full little area of temporary blocks here so it needs to go this whole row needs to go like this I need to do this on both sides Alright, so now that this is all filled in, we need to do water along each of these rows. So each little area here needs to have water coming off the walls. Okay, and now we need to do the same thing to the other side. Bucket, water, okay. Oh wait, we have some more water buckets up here. What am I doing with my life? It's okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. All right, so now we need to remove these temporary blocks. And then we will begin uh, getting the hopper situation fixed. So let me uh, remember how to do this really quick to make sure this is correct. And we will be right back. All right, so now that we've done all of that, the last thing we need to do is put... Is this like super loud? I feel like this water is like super freaking loud right now. Let's just uh, take this off for right now, because... Okay, that's not what it is. Turn blocks off for now. Let's just drop it down to like 20% because it's super freaking loud. Okay, so I just need to put blocks around the side. The side of the hoppers below to each side and below the hoppers and then we are Gucci to get this farmer rolling I mean we're gonna have to move our axolotls but other than that we are Gucci to get this this thing rolling 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 row hide okay we got water we got air here okay and all the way down to the end we go. Boom. So now we need to, first off, we need to move this down a block because I miscalculated. We don't have to talk about that. I don't miscalculate often, but when I do, I do pretty hard, huh? Okay, so what in the world? I'm confused. 
So I think as long as I do like this and put like the chest or put, I mean, put the, um, I, yeah, if I destroy that, that ain't gonna be bueno. Crap, that's not good. It's okay. We're fine. Put a hopper going in there. Put a black back down. Back like I never left. And voila. Farm S completed. I think. It should be. So now I need to take out all of the um, lights in here. How does this work exactly? So there will be some that get stuck, huh? Okay. What about the ones like on the edge over here? Or like on this edge. This is important. I need to know how. Th ow, ow, ow. The freak was that? I need to see how this is going to work exactly. Because I've never. That come out. So it'll come up to the top. Mm hmm. And then into the hopper. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's uh, pretty nifty. All right, I need to get out of here because the glow squids are not going to spawn with us in here. So, yeah, let's close that up. Get our we can turn our blocks back up now. I think. All right. Let's go get our glow squid or our axolotls. Axolotls, axolotls. You know what I just realized? I don't have an easy way to get back up. And that is not good. I have to go all the way down and back up to get back up to the top. It's whatever. It's fun. Let's go grab our axolotls. I don't know how many to take of these. Let's take like three for now. Actually, how many do we have? see how many we have we want to keep an even number so we can breed so one two three three of those three of those okay so let's take so we have six or eight total let's take four um so let's take a couple one of these how many brown ones we have two brown ones okay one of the yellows okay Uh, okay. Okay. So we got yellow, yellow. Actually, you know what? We have to take two of those. Two yellows. Crap. Two yellows and two browns. Because we have... That way we have one of each color still left. Okay. That should be good. Let us go check this out. And see, make sure that we have some glow squids spawning. It should be. If everything checks out, they should be spawning in quite nicely down here. Well, let's see. I hope I didn't just waste all that time for nothing. Because that will be very sad. Either way, we can just drop these in and we'll AFK it and see what happens. Yeah, look, they're spawning. Nice. That's huge. Okay. Let's throw in our axolotls. Axolotls. There you go. 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 And go. Are they killing them? Ouch. Are they killing them? They should be, right? Is that gonna... Ah! And then it goes in the hopper, right? Nice! That's cool. Okay. Oh, wait, we didn't... We only put three in. Alright, I gotta put another one in. There you go. Alright. 
No, go squid. What are you doing? What are you doing in here? Okay, okay, okay. I need to put a block down. Blocks, blocks, blocks. Bye bye, axolotls. Have fun. We've already got six glowing sacks. The farm is working. So basically, what we can do is we can just stand like right here and just AFK. And we'll be getting a ton of ink sacks. Um, it doesn't really work if you get too far away because they'll despawn. I think it's like 120 blocks ish. But we don't need a ton. This is just something I thought would be cool to have in our little baseroo. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Next episode, I've got a bunch or a really big project planned. We're gonna go to that zombie spawner we found a few episodes ago, and we're gonna build an XP farm so we can once we get mending and stuff, um, we'll have a place to go and get some farm some XP so we can repair all of our gear and all of our enchantments. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see um, in the series. So yeah, we're gonna do that zombie XP farm next time, and should be a lot of fun, a lot of a lot of action, a lot of. Good resources. XP farms are super important, especially in hardcore worlds. So yeah, we'll see you then. And I hope everybody has a great day. Peace out, everybody.